All right, Monday, May 9th, uh, week number 33 of the school year. We only have four left in a fraction. Uh, topic natural selection, we want a guiding question of what clues help us see genetic relationships between species. We just don't want to look at them and guess. If we try to figure out this whole puzzle of life out, uh, it's important that we, we try to get it right. Um, so we, we want to know what natural selection and adaptation are. We still want to go with the you know, idea of fitness and genetics and, and reproduction methods uh, and, and understanding all those scenarios. Uh, we're going to you know, finish designing our own model, uh, present our models, uh, and then we also watch uh, Bill Nye Flowers. Uh, focus a lot on, it's our natural instinct, or our natural tendency to focus a lot on animals because uh, they're all around us, but when we pay attention to plants, especially flowers, uh, there's some pretty amazing uh, evolutionary accomplishments with flowers that you don't see in animals. So we want to make sure we note those before we continue looking at patterns. All right, Tuesday, May 10th. Same guiding question, same main topic. Uh, but this time we're going to, after watching the video, we want to make sure we know the parts of a flower, the methods of pollination, the methods of seed dispersal in plants. It tells us a lot about the patterns in nature. We want to know how plants have evolved strategies to increase their fitness and how flower structure affects that fitness. Uh, we're going to actually do some coloring. We don't do much of it nowadays. It's really good for us, uh, good for our brain, manual dexterity, fine motor skills, all that. But it also helps us identify information and remember it. Uh, and then I'm going to ask you to gather some information and present it on a slide uh, with flower types, complete, incomplete, perfect, imperfect, uh, and it's all there on Google Classroom. Uh, so you're going to get a flower note card to color uh, on paper and then uh, number 071 flowering types uh, you're going to add to the slideshow in both the complete incomplete and the perfect and imperfect sections and together our information will allow us to review it and understand the topic. All right, Wednesday the 11th of May continuing on with our plants fitness and strategies. Uh, we're going to review 071 slideshow, make sure we understand complete versus incomplete, perfect versus incom imperfect, uh, and how it affects pollination methods and, and genetics of flowers and their fitness. Uh, we'll watch a video on TED Ed flowers and the amazing strategies that plants use in the coevolution of those and their pollinators. Uh, then we'll go on to 072 flower strategy presentation. Uh, where we focus more on on the different ways that those plant adaptations and pollination methods and seed dispersal methods allow for plants to uh, you know be everywhere in our environment and then optional if you get a chance watch the TED Ed Hidden Beauty video uh, it's a slow-mo photography it's actually a trailer for a, a full-length movie that's pretty impressive that shows us things we don't normally see with our eyes so Thursday and Friday May 12th and 13th this will actually continue on to May, on Monday, May 15th. It's actually a, a two-part lesson that's going to look like it's going to take three days, uh, all around natural selection and the clues and that nature gives us uh, to identify relationships. Um, we want to know how to use a dichotomous key after this. We want to be able to we want to know that nature has patterns in it and uh, move on to understanding how scientists look for patterns in nature to classify and then eventually come back to the role of DNA in helping scientists classify organisms. In the meantime, we're going to identify organisms using a dichotomous key, and then you will organize organisms and create a key of your own. Uh, and all of this is under Google Classroom number 073, keeping track of all this stuff, presentation, uh, and it includes the links to the practice dichotomous keys we use in class, uh, and uh, as well as the final uh, imaginary organisms called Cayman alkylis that are made famous by, I believe it's Harvard professor, maybe Cornell, I can't remember, uh, that we use to, to test our skills. And that'll take us all the way through Monday.